This is Hannes from Royal Republic and this is... Jonas from Royal Republic as well. <laughs> you are in Milan tonight, so what do we have to expect from the concert tonight? Kick-ass rock show with a lot of energy and yeah. uh, just one big huge party, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's up to you guys uh, yeah. to get your asses down here and party with us. Yeah, of course. Okay, so is, is it your first time in Italy? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's uh, the first time, and uh, we are very excited. Uh, we heard a, a lot of good stuff about uh, Italy, and uh, there is a good rock and roll crowd here, and so we um, expect a lot of you. No. <laughs> and this is an awesome venue. Yeah, I mean, just look at all these pictures. It's yeah. very inspiring. Yeah, we got Man of War here. Wow, you're close now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man of War, Axel Rose. Yeah. We, yeah. All these bands played here before us, and now it's our turn. Yeah, and this guy, he was awesome. Yeah, the, this little <laughs> fella. Yeah, he really rocked the place, you know. Yeah, this is a Papa Roach cover. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I knew that. <laughs> so, guys, and uh, what about your story? So, maybe our readers doesn't know you, so tell the, our readers your a little bit of you. A little band, band. history. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're a band from Malmö, Sweden. We met like three, three and a half years ago yeah. in Malmö. And uh, we decided to put something together. And um, three years later, here we are in Milan. So that's the short version. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like, we met, uh, we and formed here we a are. band, and then <laughs> we headed for Milan. <laughs> that was... was um, and a lot of things that happened really fast between from where we when we met and to where we are now uh, it's been uh, we had uh, we've been working uh, working really hard to get where we are right now in Milan it's a lot of miles you know to cover from uh, Sweden to Italy and so now it's Italy's turn to get uh, a piece of Royal Republic yeah. So when did you start to work on the new record that has came out in January? In January? Uh, when that was like in 2008, I believe. I'm really, really bad at uh, memorizing stuff. Was it 2008? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it took like, it took almost half a year because we were doing it like uh, one month here and then we wrote some more songs and went into the studio again. So. It was kind of a stretched out um, procedure. Yeah. It took some time, but it turned out really well. So, did you make the tour between uh, a record no, no, studio no. or? We we didn't play very much before the album was out. Actually, we put the album out, and then things just started happening really fast, and just kept going. And here we are in Milan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> we are still in Milan. <laughs> You're very happy to be here. Yeah, we are. Come on, it feels we so a, exclusive. Like, yeah, yeah the we get to go to Italy. Awesome, and we had a good meal, and yeah, what's not to have, be happy about? Not yeah. Before coming here, I read some reviews of your album, and you've been uh, linked to bands such uh, Danko Jones or, or the Ives. So, what do you think about this kind of? Uh, of course, uh, of sound that uh, a lot of people find inside your record. Yeah, they they are big influences on our music. The Jones, uh, the Hives, Glucifer, uh, and even you can see a lot of um, British music like the Kings, Rolling Stones, uh, all that. Like taking bits and pieces that we really like. Oh, Danko Jones is is a really cool live act. We would like to see if. We, and get inspired by that and the highs has really good energetic songs and we want to be getting inspired by that so we take bits and pieces from all these different bands and uh, make it the ultimate band Royal Republic and uh, um, a lot of musicians uh, see uh, the the northern uh, Europe countries as a, a sort of heaven for musicians because they say that it's easy, easily to play there and uh, to find a record label or to record a record and to make a tour. Is it true in your opinion? In our country from Sweden I wouldn't It's really not true at all actually. No. It's, it's really tough doing in Sweden. You can only play Friday and Saturday, that's it. There's no people going out like partying during the weekdays. But come Friday and Saturday, they go all in. It's yeah. It's, yeah. 
serious boozing, but uh, touring in Sweden is kind of hard. Yeah. Uh, but it's very different from if you compare Sweden and Germany. It's yeah, it's t uh, ten times more people lives in Germany. So yeah, in Germany you can really tour seven days a week, no problem. But not in Sweden. And so usually people then then go out during the week to see concerts. Um, maybe only not. Um, the really, the really big bands, they can yeah. tour whenever they want, like Metallica, Iron Maiden, and, and bands like that. That it doesn't matter because they are, they've been around for so long, so it, they can tour whenever they want. But uh, for upcomers, yeah, it's very hard to uh, be able to maybe, for for instance, play it Tuesday and see if you can get people to come to your show in Sweden. It's uh, it's difficult because. Uh, the mentality in Sweden is like, yeah, we work from Monday till Friday, and then we get shit faced on Friday night and on Saturday, and then we start over. Are you based in Malmo? That sounded so sad. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it but is it's actually true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nowadays we're out touring all the time, so. so our second yeah. home it would be uh, the highway. Yeah, yeah. I would say. <laughs> but yeah, we're from Malmo. So so. Do you used to travel across yeah. the, 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 the? There is a long bridge. In yeah, we all like. Um, our, our manager, uh, tour manager, comes up to Malmo, picks us up, we load our gear, then we drive back to Germany uh, through Denmark, and then uh, we head out for uh, an endless tour. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. So, how's the rock scene in, uh, in Sweden? There are good good bands like you that are coming out. There are a lot of good bands. It's that's the thing with Sweden because uh, people start at a very young age in, in school. We got the music classes, and you can get uh, edu uh, music lessons after school if you want uh, when you start third grade or something. Mm -hmm. So people, uh, there are a lot of musicians in Sweden uh, playing and everything. So everybody, m uh, not everybody, but a lot of people really knows to play their instrument and. Uh, that spawns a lot of good bands. Some names? Some names, yeah. We got the Hives, we got Mandy Diao, we got uh, uh, a new band coming up, uh, it's been around for a while, John Ossie, uh, they're called. Uh, and what more else? Abba. Uh, yeah, we, Abba, Roxette, uh, oh. Ace of Base, look at Ace of Base. <laughs> you know rock of base? band, uh, yeah. please. No, oh, oh, I'm sorry, but we have a really good rock. Just kidding, just no. kidding. <laughs> but we have like Soil Work, um, In Flames, our Arch Enemy is a really good band. Uh, it's also Mar metal, uh, it's yeah, got a very great scene. Uh, yeah, the death metal scene in Sweden is excellent, especially from uh, Gothenburg. Yes. And your tattoo, what band is that? Yeah, I got a, I got a tattoo from a... Uh, come on, man! <laughs> Show us your tattoo. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is, yeah. this is um, a tattoo from uh, one of my favorite bands. It's uh, They're called Dark Tranquility and also from Gothenburg. Oh, cool. So, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing band. Uh, really good live band. And I... Uh, yeah, I had to <laughs> mark my body with them <laughs> to show my love. <laughs> yeah. Did you show it to them? Jonas met these guys in where were we playing? Stockholm. Stockholm? Yeah. He was he was totally freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing <laughs> stuff. Did yeah. you show them your tattoo? No, I was too scared. I was like <laughs> stuttering like oh, hi guys. Good show. Thanks. We have to go. Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they were just as happy to see you. Yeah, them. no, they were just as nervous <laughs> to see me yeah. as I was to see them. <laughs> yeah.